know, there's probably three things the boys did when they were growing up. They were either farming and they were training for wrestling or they were doing their homework. You know, they got up early before school. They did a workout, uh, which was nice with Chris and Brad 11 months apart. We were pretty close in size, so I, we wrestled quite a bit. I mean, he's just another support system for me and I'm a support system for him. We, we push each other both academically and athletically and I'm very thankful for all the support he's given me through the years. Chris is, is, is a carbon copy of me. He's very uh, fast to make decisions and he's very aggressive. Brett still is very gentle. He's got a very gentle heart. He really does, even though he's a fierce competitor on the mat. And Chris, the baby, would come after him and intimidate him. And, and uh, Robin wanted her, her uh, middle son to figure it out. Well, I just said, Brett, you just have to get back at him and put him in his place. And I showed him how to fight. Um, we always kind of fought when we, when we wrestled. We were always pushing each other and going back and forth. And sometimes we got a little physical, but it was, you know, it was great. So we farm a little more than 800 acres. We have a finishing hog barn. We usually have about a thousand hogs. My mom and dad make me feel lazy, I guess. They, they're always working, they're always busy, and it's pretty incredible. It's, it's hard work, it's a hard lifestyle. I've learned a lot from growing up on a farm, and I guess the biggest thing is a great work ethic and um, always being ready to roll up the sleeves. We kind of reap what we sow, right? And. Uh, the discipline of the farm and just the hard work and the adaptability that we do from day to day, it feeds well into a sport like wrestling. Initially, this was a machine shop, so you know, coming in, you know, doing work on tractors and all that, and then you know, that went off to the wayside to make room for a wrestling space. They would wrestle in here with their buddies for hours. It was a great activity in a warm room when it was snow and cold outside. A lot of people have to travel. You know, to their high school or an area to you know to get some wrestling practice in, but just 50 feet from my door, and I got a, I always had a partner in Chris, so it was very convenient. I think if you're going to be a great wrestler, uh, you need to be really explore um, and really have a lot of fun with the sport. So when they're in here and they're with their buddies, they're using their feet and their hands in different ways, and uh, just really being really free and loose about their style. And Brett basically has been a leader since about seventh grade. He would bring other wrestlers from different communities, competitors actually, into the room, into this room, and work with them, just for the love of the sport. I was pretty passionate about wrestling growing up, you know, in elementary and in high school, but I decided I wanted to go and wrestle Division I going into my senior year, and I wanted to wrestle for the University of Minnesota. He was so close, Brett loved it. He said, you know, if you work hard, um, you can make it here, and you can, you'll do just fine, so. It, it's, it's just a testament to what, what uh, hard work can do for you. You don't have to be the most talented. Honestly, if you put in the hard work, you can, you can be what you want to be and you can accomplish what you want to do. That's what this sport is about. Is For us, it's been just a vehicle for training and for reaching for higher goals. And um, we're very proud that we can watch them compete at the Division I level.